So here, here we go again, starting another episode. It's on. It's on. <laughs> The worst luck with this van door. Every time you close it, you gotta go again, right? Two or three times, you gotta yeah. slam it. Every, every day is chest, chest and mm. arms, tries maybe. But one of them. Every day. That's why. That's why we're all just so swollen. We're sharing rooms to save money. Um. So Jackson and I both have single beds, and they were touching when we got in there. Don't tell our girlfriend. <laughs> We do, we shifted them apart so that we Hey can baby. <laughs> we'll pop up there and then later when it will when then we yeah, can yeah, yeah. sick. Okay. I think she might have got it. Oh she's got it? Good spot. Good spot. Yeah, thank you. Because we're all what's your You need it. You do know? Normally pretty good at figuring this shit out. I brought my sticker and Tom did. So we'll see if you actually get to it. Gosh, what are you doing next? I never thought I'd find a line like you. They remember some of these lyrics. Sometimes you gotta Google your own lyrics. <laughs> Two people came from Somerset, which is apparently three hours. And they said, Are you playing Girl in the Sun? And I said, Yes, if you've come three hours, I'll play whatever bloody thing you want. I don't know if I'm gonna rock the beanie like this on stage, or I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm not gonna take a Big decision. <laughs> More of a fisherman style. We're doing the fisherman skull cap mm. This one? I like that. This is the one I have been rocking most of the tour. I think. Uh, Fuck you, so nice. You can put that in if you're this is going to be a 10 minute process. It's probably similar to the shows I used to do in Australia. Like a few people who are really enthusiastic. And uh, not that many yet. It means you can say what's up to them or whatever, which is more personal, which is like something that unfortunately you can't always do if there's thousands of people there. These ones? Uh, do you want me to do more? I can do more. Uh, just at the house my mum was born in in uh, Bromsgrove. Yeah. Nice little village. Walk out a shot, I'm just going to get a video. And come back in. Do your thing, walk out. Worked out what Road Chef is yet? It's a restaurant? It's pretty big. Do you want to go in? Do they, do they have a uh, Costa? We actually saw a little kid shitting in a Costa cup the other day. 
Uh, I think, he, I think he, his parents like was like, oh, he's about to get diarrhea. We're driving from. <laughs> well, you didn't have to pay for the toilet, so that's good value. Sometimes you get a pound piss. Do you know what the shops. thing that blows me into my mind? Yeah. Is they have pokies in. One arm bandits, they call them here, do they? Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy too because do you know Australia? We don't have pokies in the services. We have them in the pub, which you wouldn't have. Yeah, but Australia has 0.05% of the world's population, but 19% of the world's pokies. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. Man. Hey, we are. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it's going to be a skinny one as well. Alright, well. It's because he wants us to help him. Oh. There you go, happen. Passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm but yeah, we'll have to figure out what the druids are up to at Stonehenge and then we'll do the same. Yeah. You know, like moon ceremonies or whatnot. Oh. Like seeing all the posters with Coldplay and the Strokes and stuff, it is a nice reminder that these people, these massive bands had to, you know, everyone has to start somewhere. Whether you're playing the big festival that the vibe is there in the crowd, or you're playing a little room where you have to bring it, you've got to be appreciative that anyone has got in their cars and come to the fucking place. Uh, Coldplay played at this venue to 30 people, and we've sold like 150 tickets or something, so you do the math, baby. The expensive fish and chips I've had in my fucking life. It was a good though. It was fine. <laughs> I've had a lot better fish and chips wrapped in paper from my local like dingy fish and chip shop. I reckon. Yeah. Like maybe ten pounds max for four fishes and chippies. So to feed so two mum, dad, meal, and two kids. Well, your one meal could have fed an entire Australian family. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what the charity said, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> and they but they wrap it in paper. And you Thank get you for donating, by and way. you get chicken salt too, which is chicken salt. Yeah, chicken salt is a yeah, given. Yeah, I can't okay. <laughs> in Scotland we have chippy sauce. Chippy sauce? What's that? Chippy sauce. It's curry sauce. Right, um, curry sauce. Right, my dinner calm. So. What? What? Yeah. what the fuck? But it's okay something. It's probably too late now, I don't want to be a heavy footed guy, you know. I'm gonna be fleet of foot. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't come? They just cancelled your order. Do you I'm speaking with the higher ups at Uber right now. <laughs> Some tortilla chips? I've had a lot. I've had a lot. Tortilla yeah. chips and beer every day. <laughs> <laughs> Photographer just tagged me in these pictures so I'm looking through from the gig and it says Pleasure meeting all day chubby boy and snapping a few portraits But it's not me, it's some guy that was at the gig telling everyone he was me mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So that's uh, so someone he did a photo shoot with him What's his face in? That's, that's fucking funny It's funny cause like I just had to message her going hey that's not me <laughs> We're at uh a little shed next to Stonehenge. We gotta pay for tickets. We're gonna see the stones, and uh, we're, it's all pretty exciting. This is how the, they think they built Stonehenge, and that was uh, by dragging it. He's giving a demo of this book. That's how it's done. This is where we're staying. It's only three star accommodation, but we're kind of scrimping on this tour, so. Where's the fucking stones though? And where are our peoples? We've lost them. We actually got to get to our show, but we've, we've walked off into the countryside. No way, is that? We've got to go all this way. I think it's a bit rich that they made us park over there. I don't mind a walk, but... How the fuck then? Oh, we'll just open it. 
Now we're fucking climbing. Oh my god, there's a security guard! Hedge bouncer. Nothing speaks to the division between rich and poor and the failure of capitalism <laughs> <laughs> than the division. Good morning. Hi there. Sun's just coming out. You've got it at the right time. Oh, that's Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, sir. Back there, they were saying. 30 pounds to get to the hand or whatever. They said, no, we just walk. But now we're seeing it from back here. It would be nice to sit on the top like a bench and have just an apple or a snack. It's quite hard to make earrings look like Stonehenge though, isn't it? I mean, that's the closest, but in the end, it does just look like two blocks. Now that you're going to be the belle of the bowl at your next dinner party with the Stonehenge studs. Been touring with like Jackson and Gab for quite a long time. Gab, Japanese wallpaper, produces a lot of stuff for me. I've known those guys for years and they're my friends as well. People I choose to hang out with outside of this. And Sean as well, who's like a great sound guy and a great friend. So fucking lucky man, like to, to be able to take your music across the other side of the world. How lucky man, how lucky. <laughs> I just would have been like, this guy's really funny, I have to, I have to really keep up. <laughs> ready for stage. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for all your work. Love you, Gab. Have a great set. Good luck, brother. <laughs> UK, that was mad, fantastic, mega. We got to drive around the country, check things out. We made some fantastic new friends, Tayo, Nick Mono, our tour manager, Sam, and of course, you guys who came to the gigs. So yeah, thank you for having us. That was our first ever tour. I'll be back pronto. Now I gotta go make some music. Lots of love. Whenever we see you, Marshall.